If you've been looking to go glamping because laying in a tent or an entry level RV just isn't for you, you need something 43 feet long, roughly 14,000 pounds dry. Wait until you see the front bath on this Heartland Bighorn 3870 FB. What's up, it's Chris Young, standing in awe. I've seen a lot of things. I had seen them. Um, but I gotta tell you, for 2021, what Heartland did with the Bighorn fifth wheels, stepped it up. They added some features and some style that you usually only see in like high-end diesel motor coaches. So tip of the hat to the design team, number one, for incorporating a glazed maple hardwood cabinetry all the way throughout, black and tan interior decor. Mixing the light and the dark, you even get the little accents in the slides with the construction there, you'll see the inlay. Plus they have the backlit fascia at the tops. And the angles that are here just really make this look and feel like a really nice residential vacation home, which at the end of the day, that's what this one is. It's 43 feet long, roughly 14,000 pounds dry. This is a big boy. It can only sleep three to four people. So this is for that active couple, that retiree couple, that small family that maybe needs a vacation home. Something that you don't have to get locked into buying a place at the beach, buying a place at the mountains, buying a place at the lake. You can take this wherever you want to go because it is warranted for full time uh, and it's set up for deep three season camping for sure, given the insulation and the build, which we'll get to here in a little bit. Full profile fifth wheel, rear wall dominated by that beautiful cabinetry with the frosted glass inlay and a ceiling fan. I like this because you got the hideaway hinges, you got the matte black fixtures, the bevel, the design, the glaze just looks good and is sturdy. Add that to the fact that for 2021, they've also increased the size of the windows. You got a wood valance with the bevel and the decorative uh, cloth going all the way around there, the padding. It really just looks, I'm gonna say looks good a lot, so I apologize. Got the dark gray coastal comfort sleeper sofa right there with end tables on both sides with 110 and dual USB charging on both. Would like to see a little storage there, but that's okay because with Bighorn, you're gonna get a ton of storage. Let's start over here on the campsite. Wireless charging integrated into the seats right here in your recliners. Plus you have the cup holders. You got the storage there. They're recliners, plus they have the heat and the massage. And if I'm not mistaken, they have a little uh, light as well. Yeah, we got the little light in the uh, cup holder here, which I think is kind of cool. Just a nice little blue light glow there. No carpet in the slides as well, a padded woven. Slip resistant, easy to clean flooring here that's vacuum bonded both here in the living area and in the front cap. Over on the off camp side is my entertainment space. More storage because they upgraded your storage both inside and out on the Bighorns this year. Large TV, entertainment space here. Jensen AM FM command center with HDMI, Bluetooth, DVD player. It is dual zones. You can play the music inside and out. Plus you got that 40 inch Furion fireplace there with multiple flame settings, multiple light settings. Since this is a opposing slide fifth wheel, that's how you get the large space. Now this one uh, has the island in it, which is where the sink is. And if you notice the design, the flow matches the table. It even matches the colors with the black and tan. I really like that. Undermounted farmhouse style sink with the apron, high rise faucet with the sprayer and a drying rack and plenty of room thanks to the drawer space. You can see solid wood construction, full extension on ball bearing drives, more storage underneath, good spot for, you know, trash cans, whatever you may want. Solid surface prep areas too. And technically I have one, two, three prep spaces in here, which I know there might be a stretch, but somebody can be doing something over here or you could have a coffee station on either side because you got 110. You got the Greystone stainless steel four burner cooktop with the grill style grate and the high output and the extra large oven. Now, most of the times you only get a 16, maybe a 20 inch 
oven. Having this is extremely nice because it's got the multiple racks. You can do a ton of stuff with that. It has the fan built in as well. The 30 inch Insignia microwave, more storage up top under my mushroom light. And you'll notice with the decor, they made everything flow and match. The inlay here matches the backsplash. The color and the flow of the island matches the table, which we're gonna get to here in a minute. And add that to the 18 cubic foot LG fridge freezer combo that is residential. It has the water filtration system built into it. And you got the large freezer door down here with the ice maker. I'm a fan of this because if you are going to set this up for a long time, if you're going to do full time, having something like this to me just, it just makes it feel more like home and you're going to use it. You're going to need that space. And this runs on 110 or LP. Got more storage space over here. I really like the, uh, the flow. I really do. This is, this is nice. And then when it's time to reconnect with the loved ones, enjoy those camp cooked meals. Here you go. Plenty of space. You're surrounded by some of the largest panoramic windows you're going to find. You got residential style wood inlays with mushroom lights, decorative sconces all the way around. And this one even has a half bath. Check it out. Hop on in there, Bobby. Solid surface countertop, high rise porcelain bowl, matte black fixtures. 110, I can check my tanks. I mean, you don't even really need the light on in here because of the fan. Got double vanity right there, or excuse me, double cabinet for your medicine cabinet. Got a little bit of the raised lips in there. I like to see big raised lips. And then you got the uh, storage compartment here, linen storage over there. But for me, the medicine cabinet, I, I like when I say those big raised lips, what I mean is when there's a lot of space and it's raised and when you're in transit, stuff knocks around. So when you go to set up, you open the door, you don't want stuff falling out on you. Uh, so having that to me is a very nice to have, but plenty of storage here in the half bath. Got all my commands for my controls right here. Uh, my lights, my awnings. This one does have a 12 gallon uh, water heater bypass on it. So when you're ready to get that hot shower, you absolutely can. Add that to the fact that we got a 40,000 BTU furnace and dual 15K BTU ACs, one here in the living and then one in the uh, bedroom as well. You can really do a good job of heating and cooling. Plus, I mean, the fireplace is 5,000 BTUs. So on a cool night, just cut that on. That's gonna knock the chill off the air. Here's my controls for my heat, my AC. I got storage here, storage there. Oh, there we go. We just cut on that AC. Did you hear it? Come on. <laughs> yeah, get that baby cranking. But what makes this coach opulent is the front cap. King size bed in the slide, backlit head, you know, backlit headboard there, windows on both sides, a little bit of storage over here for nightstand, dual USB charging on both. That's nice, Chris. Yeah, we see that a lot. Strut supported storage underneath. Sure, we see that a lot as well. Solid door separating us. The continuation of that black and tan interior decor into the master with my chest of drawers. Chris, that's nice. Large windows, that's nice. TV storage, that's nice. This is the kicker. Solid door leading me into the master bath of this 3870 FB front bath. Dual vanity sinks right here. And they're not those bowl style sinks. This is that decorative cut into the solid surface countertop with the matte black high rise faucets. I got me some storage up here with the shelf and the control, the mirror, the mushroom lights, another little storage shelf over here, plenty of room underneath. Look at how beautiful this smells. The high rise porcelain bowl with the foot flush, the little decorative window for light, plus more storage with the drawers underneath. I got the fantastic vent fan in here as well, which is that high output fan. This will move a foot of air per second. So if it's really hot, open up the vent and cut this on. It does a good job of sucking it up. But my spa bath, my spa shower, that's what makes this opulent. A walk-in shower, 
You got the residential style surround on this, plus the wood bench seat, the matte black fixtures on my faucet, and the wood fold up seat. You want it for a bench? Set it down. Just want more space? Fold it up. Add to that that it is washer and dryer prepped with separate 110s for the components. Like that feature. Plus the decorative door. I like that for the vent. But check out my closet, man. Walk-in closet on the front cap with storage shelf, ward, ward bar, and you get the little wireless vacuum cleaner. Come on, man. Really? Do you need all of that? Yes. <laughs> yes, we do, Chris. Because we are tired of when we go camping, sleeping in the tent, or we've been cramped in that little tiny travel trailer or that little old fifth wheel. We need something with the space, the style, and the comfort that the big horn is gonna give us. And I gotta tell you, they nailed it with this one. Only a few things I would change, a few features and amenities uh, that, that I would change, but given the other side of that scale, everything that they've added and upgraded, way outweighs it, way outweighs it, especially for the price point. So we've seen the inside of this beautiful front bath, fifth wheel beauty. What do you say? We're gonna take a look at the outside. So here we are on the outside of the beautiful redesigned 2021 Heartland Bighorn 3870FB. Front bath, fifth wheel that is made for that couple that wants some opulence. You're going to notice that they redid the graphics on that painted fiberglass end cap. They even gave you the little ram's head right there with the little mirror graphic behind it. Really like that, but you still get the same things that the Bighorns were known for. The tight turn technology, which allows you to get a little bit more turning radius when moving this fifth wheel around, and the Rotoflex pin box which with the pivoting head really helps stop that chucking and bucking while going down the road. Now they redesigned some of the storage compartments on the Bighorns as well for 2021. Your generator box is now in the bottom. You got an additional storage compartment up front and the battery box has been moved over to the side underneath our 1000 watt inverter like you see right here. Now this is the, what, what they're called, the storage is what they're calling their patent pended store more storage technology. And some of them you get up to 30 or 35% more storage. I like that. You got twin 30 pound LP tanks on both sides. And even the, that continuation of the black and tan goes to the outside with the graphics. Love the way that looks. Got the 20 foot awning with the LED lights and the floodlights. You got the, I like to call them the infinity windows. They're just seamless windows, tinted safety glass all the way around. You got your outside Lippert One control here, which you can control from your cell phone if you want to. Plus you got this beautiful storage space right here, plenty of room, but their leveling system is hydraulic. So it's a six point leveling system that can lift up to 60,000 pounds and hydraulic a little bit faster than electric. You got the 110 outlet right there, plus your cable if you wanna do some connecting. You got that one piece steel rolled frame underneath that 12 inch I-beam. And what they've done is they've added a lot of additional security to the frame, not only underneath, but also inside. So you get 90 degree angles, you get corner riggers. I mean, you get all types of things that really make this a sturdy coach. And on the inside behind this fiberglass is the aluminum tubing. Now, most aluminum tubes, you know, are hollow. They're, they're kind of like this. But what Heartland did is they did what's known as a triple chamber technology on there. So you got a cut down the middle of the tube and one at the bottom. So it just adds more reinforcement to that aluminum frame on the inside. Plus you got the Asdale here, which is that laminated fiberglass. There's no off gassing, no water, no molding, no bubbling. Solid Morite steps going into the main entry. Extra large grab handle here. Plus you got the European style motorized door latch. I kind of like that for getting in and out. It makes life a little bit easier. 15 inch aluminum rims there, nitro filled tires on that CRE 3000 suspension there too. Here on the rear is a big old giant bush with a bunch of spider webs in it and an extra large ladder with the grab handles going over the top, the backup camera, additional safety and security. Plus you got the arch ceilings with those three inch rubber nozzles and you got your two inch hitch. So uh, I, I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna straight up Superman right into the bush and I'll see you guys on the other side. Ooh. Hey, <laughs> okay. Uh, so. Here we are on the other side of the beautiful Heartland 3870 FB. You'll notice our 50 amp service connection right there. 
Got those beautiful redesigned slides as well, giving you more safety and security, keeping water out, more, more of a better fit for the slides. You got magnetic anti-slam latches all the way around as well. So even for the outside storage that have the aqua latch system, which as you can see, it keeps the water from going inside, just kind of pulls up on the outside and it doesn't stay in the seal. But the anti-slam, and the covered hinge means that if it does get wet on the outside, you don't have the exposed hinge to give you those rust streaks going down your beautiful new RV. Access panel right here. Main terminations and sewer outlet connection is right there. And for this one, uh, on this one, you have some pretty good sized tanks too. Uh, you got 65, 84, and 84. So 65 gallon fresh. Uh, 84 gallon gray, 84 gallon black, which those are some pretty big tanks. Add that to the insulation, the satellite, the inverter, the whole nine, um, the, the, excuse me, the, the solar panels. Um, you could go off grid if you want to, because 65, 84 and 84, that's a lot of space for, for your tank system. And speaking of, we had a water filter inside that LG fridge. You got a water filtration system here as well. This is a very nice addition because you never know what you're going to get at those campgrounds. And this is our external command center. You got your cable, your satellite connections here. Got me a little push button light, city water connection. Here are all my pulls for my tanks, my porthole to run my connection through securely so I can close this up. I got the GFCI outlet there. Black tank flush and city fresh water connection there as well. And our other side of our pass-through storage. Just making sure I don't hit my big giant noggin because I've hit it like 19 times. Boom. I like the anti-slam. And there's your sewer hose storage right there. So lots of features, lots of upgrades, lots of things to consider. But the one thing that's most important to consider is going to be this info panel. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this bad boy weigh? Now the dry weight on this one is roughly 14,000 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 16,250. That's where you take that back to your specialist at Camping World and at Gander. And you say, hey, uh, what does that really mean? Here's what my vehicle can tow. Here's how many people I need to sleep. And here's where I plan on going camping or setting up my RV. That will really help our folks guide you down the path of finding the RV that's right for you. But if you're looking for a front bath fifth wheel that's roughly 43 feet long, roughly 14,000 pounds dry, I gotta tell you, features, amenities, design, and flow, the Bighorn checked them all off. Not much at all I would change. I would highly recommend this to that couple or to that small family that's looking for something like this. But leave me some comments down below and let me know, what'd you think about the 3870 FB? What'd you like about it? What'd you not like about it? Because we love hearing from you. And please, while you're at it, click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we get a video, you're the first one to see it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander. Thank you for joining me. Hope you had fun and enjoyed this beautiful unit. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you soon. Until then, please come check out a camper because they are fun. I'll see you.